Prince Harry and Meghan are facing huge decisions on how to maintain their expensive lifestyle after a lucrative Spotify partnership was axed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex still have an £80 million Netflix deal, while the Duke of Sussex is said to have a four-book deal with Penguin Random House worth up to £29 million, and so it's a possible relaunch of Meghan's blog and lifestyle brand, which she closed in 2017 when she got engaged to Prince Harry, would be a further income stream. Today, public relations experts told Mail Online how they think Harry and Meghan could maintain a good cash flow at their £12 million um, pounds mansion in Montecito, California. Brand and culture expert Nick Ede said they could activate their social media and start to communicate with their fans like Victoria Beckham does so well. Um, Andy Barr, co-founder of 10 Yetis Digital, said rumors of an alleged partnership with Dior since Deny could have been a decoy to try and flush other global brands out of the woodwork who may be interested in partnering with them. And Jack Izzard, chief executive of Rizom Media, claimed that they could become the new group um, Greenet Patrol's wellness brand, which has earned $200 million. Yeah, PR expert Jeff had their thoughts on what's next for Harry and Meghan. According to Nick Ede, brand and culture expert, he said, I think Meghan and Harry has been noted that it's time to stop exploring their relationship with the royal family and time to build a brand that is credible and that has longevity. If you look at the long list of power players in the world of celebrity, it's time for them to emulate the success of the Beckhams, the Kardashians, Rihanna, Jinwet, Jello, and so on. Can they do it? I'm not entirely sure as they are both all have talents and have worked tirelessly to get the way they are today. Harry and Meghan haven't, and this may be their undoing. Their compassion and passion for change is entirely genuine and is a driving force for them, but will the people buy into their brands? The jury is out. I think that it's a smart move to work with the Hollywood talent agency to shape who they both are moving forward and to develop a clear strategy that builds them as team players with positive attitudes who care and also want people to have a glimpse into their life's work and who will on time ultimately buy into your life too. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of these episodes. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.